Hello everyone. Today we're going to check out this laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron 15 uh, model I3531-1200BK. Uh, it's a very, very popular model right now. It's one of the, the best-selling laptops on the market at the moment. Um, it's not a top-of-the-line machine. I think one of the main selling points on it is its price. It's very inexpensive, but it gets the job done. So let's take a look at what this thing can do. Uh, first, let's just look at the outside. It's black, got a matte finish. It picks up fingerprints pretty easily, but you know, what you gonna do? It's uh, reasonably thin, nothing special. Um, okay, so if we go around it, we can look at all the ports we've got uh, on the outside of it. Uh, over here, we've got the power connector, which uh, Plugs into the power adapter, which is, uh, you know, just your average power adapter. Not too big, though, as far as these things go. It's got this neat little Velcro strap to make the cables tidy and such. Um, then we've got a, a vent here to help, uh, you know, keep the inside cool. The fan will blow air out here. Uh, we've got a HDMI port, so you can connect to a, a TV. Um, we've got two USB 2.0 ports. And we've got a headphone jack. Um, on the front, we've got a small uh, battery status LED that uh, lights up to show you the status of your battery. We've got an SD, SD card reader, um, so you can copy pictures off your camera and things like that. And uh, so you probably can see this better if we turn it over. There are two pretty nice sized speakers on the bottom here, kind of tilted forward. Um, we'll take a look at those later on. And if we continue around to the other side, there's not much on this side. There's a slot that looks like a DVD drive, but it's actually just a placeholder. There's no optical drive on this computer, which uh, if that's something you care about, you can get an external drive. I got this one off Amazon. It's a Samsung uh, SE218. It's a very popular model right now as well, and it's dirt cheap and reliable. People love this thing. It can read and write just about any format of DVD or CD there is out there. Some drives are restricted. They can only do you know, DVD minus R or DVD plus R and so on. This one can do pretty much everything. Um, and it's small. It's barely bigger than a DVD. And one thing that's real nice about it is it... Uh, doesn't have a power brick that you have to lug around with you. It comes with this USB cable that you just plug into directly into your computer and it gets its power from the computer's USB port. So that's pretty nice. So if you do care about uh, you know an optical drive, there's a way around it. Uh, you know, the way around the fact that this computer doesn't have one that's not too bad to deal with. Then let's see, the last connector on here is one of those little cable lock slots that no one really uses, but that's, you know, Supposedly you can lock up your computer so no one will steal it, but come on, who does that? Then on the back, there's no connectors or anything, nothing there. All right, on the bottom, uh, we've got the two speakers I mentioned before. There's this plate right here uh, that's held in by these two screws. Um, underneath that plate, there's the hard drive and the memory. If you want to upgrade either of those, you just take out these two screws, pop this thing off, just a small plate right here, and you can replace those fairly easily. Um, then up here we have the battery, uh, which you can remove by just pulling these two things out, and then just, just pops right out. No, no big deal. So I don't know. Not like that's something you need to do every day, but if you do want to upgrade your computer, or take it apart, you should probably take out the battery first. So. All right, let's see. Then on the inside, what do we have? We've got the screen. This is a uh, 1366 by 768 uh, resolution screen. It's LED backlit. It's glossy. I don't know if you can tell. Well, you can probably tell there. I don't know. Some people like glossy. Some people don't. I guess it's up to you. Um, it's got a full-size keyboard uh, with a uh, number pad over here. Some laptops don't have that, so that's kind of nice. It's not backlit, but you know, it's an inexpensive laptop, so usually you're not going to have a backlit keyboard in that situation. 
there's all these blue uh, auxiliary functions for some of the keys. Normally you would hold down the function key and you can do things like increase and decrease the screen brightness or change the volume of the speakers. Uh, I've found that instead of holding down the function key, for some reason on this computer you have to hold down the Windows key while you hit these and then they work just fine. Um, strange, but you know, no big deal. We've got a power button, we've got a trackpad. The trackpad is uh, not too shabby. We'll talk about that in a minute. So let's fire this thing up and see what happens. So let's see, I guess while that's happening, I can tell you some more about this thing. It's got a 500 gig hard drive, fairly standard these days, nothing special. It's got a uh, Intel Celeron dual core processor running at 2.16 gigahertz. Um, it's a very common processor in laptops of this price range nowadays. Um, let's see what else. It's got uh, you know, Wi-Fi capabilities, of course. Uh, 802.11, B, G, and N. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, it's got Bluetooth. I haven't tried that out, but it's there. Um, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM, running at 1600 uh, megahertz, and so on. All right, so here we are, Windows 8.1. It's not a touch screen. Some computers these days are touch screen, but usually you pay more for that. Uh, but uh, I mentioned the trackpad has some features that may come in handy if you're used to touch screens. Um, normally with uh, Windows 8.1, which is what this is running, if you have a touch screen, uh, there's different gest gestures you can do, like dragging out from the side over here or over here. Let's see, let's fire up some other stuff. We've got uh, uh, maps. How about maps? This is a good one to show off. Uh, some of the capabilities of the trackpad. Um, so, yeah, when you've got multiple apps running, you can switch between them by dragging from the left here. All right, so, map. Uh, you know, you can click normally and zoom in, double, oh, that's another thing. This thing, uh, the clicks on the buttons are a little bit loud. I mean, not that big of a deal or anything. Um, you can zoom in and out with the pinch gesture, just like you would on a tablet or a touch screen. So that's pretty nice. This works in other programs too, like you zoom in and out on images or documents and such. Um, and uh, I just kind of discovered this feature by accident, but if you double tap and then hold down your second tap, you can drag around. So that's pretty neat. You can scroll with two fingers. If you hit the trackpad with two fingers, hold them down, you can scroll up and down. That's pretty nice. So you don't have to like go way over here to the bar and then click and hold down. You know, it's a little more convenient to just wherever your mouse happens to be, you can scroll. Let's take a look at YouTube. People tend to care about video performance. All right, here's YouTube. You know, nothing, uh, nothing new here. Let's see. Uh, all right, let's check out a video. All right, here's a video of someone barefoot water skiing. Let's take a look in full screen. Oops, that wasn't full screen. Maybe I hit the right button. There we go, full screen. Okay, I pause it. All right, so. Looks pretty nice. Let's crank up the resolution. Well, it's already on 720p, which is about all this monitor can support. Um, this video has other options, but kind of relevant. It's nice and smooth. Looks good. I don't know if you noticed, but the sound on this thing is uh, pretty nice for such a low-end laptop. Uh, the speakers are on the bottom, but even if you cover them up, it doesn't really make too much difference. It just kind of sounds like the sound's coming from everywhere over here. Um, all right, let's turn them all the way up and down. All right, here's as loud as the speakers go. Quite loud, doesn't distort or anything. It's a little tinny sounding, but you know, that's pretty common for laptops. All right, let's turn it back down, so. <laughs> all 
All right, uh, screen brightness. Uh, the screen brightness is something I like a lot on this laptop. It goes pretty darn bright. Um, so it should be okay for working outside, maybe not in you know blaring sun or anything, but it's pretty bright. And you can turn it down really low. I mean, it's, it's like hard to see in a normal lit room, but this is nice if you, you know, sit around in the dark on your laptop. Like if you're watching a movie or something, sometimes you can't turn the brightness down low enough. It's blindingly bright on some computers, even on their lowest setting. But this one goes nice and low, which I really like. Um, so yeah, let's see, uh, what else we've got here. I guess that's about it. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put, uh, links down below the video where you can, uh, you know, check out, uh, this laptop and, uh, you know, this external drive on Amazon. Maybe read more about them there or even buy one if you want. Uh, so that's about it. Thanks.